Well, hey YouTube, this is Prince from DC Programmer. I welcome back to yet another video on this Flutter series. And in this video, after exploring the text wizard and custom colors in Flutter, we are going to explore one another important wizard in Flutter. Or uh, to be honest, in any Android application or any user interface, which helps the user to very easily interact with the application, and that's button. Buttons can be easily, very easily create an event during runtime and hence can make changes or ask to make changes in the application. And I believe that most of the times when we see an app in a way or other it uses button. So let's explore what buttons do we get from Flutter. And in the list of buttons that we get from Flutter, we have flat icon, flat buttons, we have raised buttons, we have material button, we have icon button and so on. Like not many, but these four are very important. And there is this widget known as raw material button and on top of this widget every other button widget is built. So this means that a material button is very highly customizable. Then comes the raised button and then the flat button. Well although all the buttons have almost same properties which you will soon understand and see. It still they have their own say while use. Like there will be multiple situations where you will love to use flat button, multiple situations where you will have to use raised button or material button or icon button and so on. Just for example, here you can see this is a simple screenshot from this new YouTube screen that appears when you open YouTube and if your app is not updated. It has two buttons, not now and update, where not now is a flat button, whereas this update is a raised button. So let's start talking about them in this video and before I move let me tell you if you love this series that we are having on this channel do let us know and the second thing that I want to say is that since I have not taught you about using multiple widgets in a single screen or a single application like we have this body which calls a widget center and this center widget calls a text that's it using multiple widgets is not something that we have understood yet. So I will first get rid of this text widget and then I will introduce all the buttons one by one. And this video we are going to mostly talk about the button UI not about the back end of what actually we can do with a button click. So for that let me first get rid of text and you see that here in front of comments we understand that this is where the text widget and all its property end. So I will get this all and I will hit backspace well. Now we are good to go. Moving further, this we do need a child property and the first one that we want to talk about is a flat, not F-A-T, flat button which will have multiple properties obviously like any other widget just as you saw in the text widget which has multiple properties each changing something or the other. But two most important properties are first of all we have this on pressed which says that which function should I be calling if this button is pressed. Well, you can have different values right here. Like you can call any function which should be called after pressing this button. But we are not going to do this right now because calling a function after this button is pressed and then making changes in the UI will need an understanding of stateful widgets which we don't have as of now. So I'll skip that part. Next option that you can give is this null and this null option literally says that this button is disabled because the on pressed is set to null. So a simple trick that all of us like most of the people use when they have to just code the UI is that they provide this anonymous null function which says that there is a function but this function actually does nothing. Then we have the second option which is a child and this is important because this says that what is going to be displayed on this flat button whether a text or an icon or an image. I'm going to have a text not an icon or an image and we know how we can give a text visit. Some text which is like flat button and once now I save you see that we get this small text on the screen saying flat button. Well obviously in the previous video we did talk a, not in the previous video but uh, in the previous but in the video previous to the last video, we did talk about the text visit a lot. And we also talk about how we can customize the text visit to meet our needs. And that's what you can use right here to make sure that this text on our screen, which is very small, can appear large. 
so i can just say like style which will be a text style not theme and here i'm saying that make my font size something like 24.0 i'll save this and see now we get a huge text well that's cool moving forward talking about the other properties of the flat button we do have a lot of them two the most important ones are that which we have already talked about the on pressed and the child others are not very important but yet you can talk about this color property which defines the background color of our flat button like i can say colors dot red save and now this will have a black red background then we have this text color property which we can directly use to provide a color to the text if we are using a text as a child and let me say that this is white save and cool this is what we have another important property is this highlight color which says that which color should i display when this button is pressed let's say that i want to display a green color as a background when this button is pressed now i'll save and as you can see when i press this button the button color changes to green ain't it cool let's do it again press the button and the color changes to green another option that we have is this is splash color which says that which color should i display as this splash effect we have some watery splash effect on material buttons this is a concept of material buttons so i'll say something like colors dot shine and as you can see that now when i press on this this splash effect is going to be of shine color you may not see this because of this screen so i'll get rid of this and now you can see that when i press this splash effect is of shine color and this is splash effect is something that i love about material design if i press in the between this is splash effect goes to both the side if i press in this corner it starts from this corner and goes to the other corner if i start from this corner it goes to the other corner so this is the splash effect which which color is determined by this splash color property then we had the highlight color the text color color and so on now obviously there are many other properties that we can talk about and to be honest flat color flat button doesn't have many other properties just one more that i would like to talk that is the padding that says that you can from provide some padding to this button and this padding is provided between the button and its child that is the text so we have multiple options like from all from left top right bottom from window from and then we have this only and then we have this symmetric i'm going to use this symmetric which says that you can provide something vertical which uh, let's say that i'm giving it a vertical of 20.0 vertical padding of 20.0 and then we can even give some horizontal padding let's say i'm giving a horizontal padding of 10.0 and if somebody is having a question like hey you just you are using your code then why is this emulator on top Well, actually the emulators have a property using which you can make sure that your emulator always stays on the top so i'll just click here and i have 10.0 uh, not o it's 0 save it and here we have this is how our button changes with this padding so these were all the basic properties of a flat button that we have which we can use to make sure that your button is customized and look in a way that you want and you can just work with them as you want Talking about the next widget or the next kind of button that we were about to talk is the raised button. So I will say raised, and this is the raised button that we have. And as I already told you, all the buttons will have almost same properties, and so does this raised button too. Like the common properties of the raised button that match the flat button are this on pressed, and I already told you how you can make sure that this button. Uh, inherits all our features not showing itself as a dummy button which is disabled here we have this button which has nothing on it because we have to provide this child property which could be a text and i'm saying my text to be raised button and then again this will look small but just to make sure that you guys can see this here is how this text looks so i'm going to give some styling and which is going to be some text style come on pardon me for my typing mistakes which i have most of the times and in this text style i have this font size property which i'm setting to 20 right now as you can see that this is how it looks right now 
another property properties of the raised button that we has and which are at seam of the flat button are like this color which we can set to which we can set just in a way as we did in the previous you know button like this color defines the background color then we have this text color that talks about the color of the text obviously we have this highlight color come on not g highlight we have this highlight color which talks about the color that should be displayed once this button is pressed again click on this it becomes green cool now another thing that we can talk about is the splash color i am going to say colors dot not black i'm going to say blue save so this will give us the splash effect as you can see blue splash effect another properties are almost same as we had in the flat button there are few properties that we have in the raised button but not in the flat button so let's just focus on them well the first one that we have in our splash in our raised button but not in the flat button is this elevation like how much elevation do we want and let's say if i say it to be 10.0 so this gives my button an elevation of 10 you can see that this button appears to be raised from our screen like you can say that this is like 3d effect the same elevation has an another property that says highlight elevation it says that what elevation should i show if this button is pressed so now you can see that when i click on this button the highlight with the elevation will change play pay close attention when i click on the button and as you can see the highlight change you can see on the button shadows how this changes when we're going to just make it a bit longer yeah i can so no i don't want this now see this highlight elevation changes cool so these were two properties that we don't have in the flat button but we do have in the raise button hence you should be thinking about them if you are using a raise button if you need something like this elevation another last one that we had in flat buttons too but was not much compulsory to talk about is this shape and we can provide multiple shapes circular you know rectangular and so on one that i will talk about in this because most of them like rectangular and all i will talk about in the material button right now not right now but here i i can show something that how you can create a button with just some border and uh, this is something that you will mostly see in material like css and all so that's very simple i can give something like border dot all now this will ask for two things first of all what is the width of the border i'm saying 2.0 dp sorry 2.0 this is a double value not dp uh, i think dp is in android android java and xml so on the next is that we give the color what color that do we want so let me just keep this aside and i will provide this color to be colors dot black save it and you can see that now we have this border another cool thing that we can do is that we can make this color instead of red to be white save and now well uh, okay text color should be black save it and now you can see that we have this button with just some outline border uh, let me just get rid of this splash color now it will look better and you can even provide some padding to make sure that this looks beautiful why don't i do this on my own like obviously i can symmetric i have something vertical let's say that's 20.0 and i have horizontal let's say that's 10.0 i know you can't see that but trust me i write the same and now here it is raised button well cool ain't there so that's pretty much it in this video we did talk about the flat button and the raised button mostly about the ui of the buttons how we can present them on our screen and obviously in the next video we are going to explore material button and icon button and then very soon i'm going to show you how these buttons can be made functioning that's how we can apply functions or we can call functions with these buttons we can make changes to our application at the runtime well thanks for being with me on this channel and if you love this series that we have on this channel do let me know and i know that you guys can let me know and you will let me know if you want something that i can provide so I'll catch up soon in the next video. Till then, keep coding, keep sharing, keep loving and peace.